An alleged Israeli airstrike near Iran's embassy in Syria's capital Damascus has reportedly killed seven members of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps. Among those killed was a top IRGC commander, Mohammad Reza Zahidi. In our next report, my colleague Resha Segal breaks down Iran's elite military force responsible for protecting the Islamic regime from internal and external threats. Not to be confused with Iran's traditional armed forces, the IRGC is a parallel military body formed during the Islamic Revolution in 1979. Well, it maintains its own air, land and naval branches. And these are pegged on Iran's fundamentalist regime. The Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps has an estimated 125,000 personnel. The IRGC directly reports and answers to Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Well, it also commands the Basij religious militia, which is a paramilitary force that has been used by Iran's clerics to crack down on anti-government demonstrators in the country. Not only this, the IRGC also plays an essential role in Iran's aggression. Well, for years, they have sought to shape West Asia in favor of Tehran. A special operations unit, uh, the elite Quds Force, is responsible for operations abroad as well. And it has been accused of helping establish proxy militias throughout West Asia, that is, from Lebanon to Syria and even Iraq. The Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps is branded as a foreign terrorist organization by the United States of America. Now, I will talk about IRGC's military capabilities. It oversees Iran's ballistic missiles program, regarded by experts as the largest in West Asia. The guards have used the missiles to hit Sunni Muslim militants in Syria and Iranian Kurdish opposition groups in northern Iraq. The U.S. and European powers and even Saudi Arabia, they have blamed Iran for a 2019 missile and drone attack that crippled the world's biggest oil processing facility in Saudi Arabia, although Iran has denied any involvement in the assault. The guards have extensive conventional combat hardware and capabilities which were showcased in their involvement in the conflicts in Syria and Iraq. While in March 2022, the IRGC said that it launched a second surveillance satellite into the space, defying a UN Security Council resolution and demonstrating that Iran has the technology required to achieve intercontinental ballistic missile capability. Well, former Revolutionary Guards officers occupy key positions in Iran's establishment. From the government to parliament, they occupy major seats. Well, most of President Abraham Raisi's cabinet ministers are former IRGC officers. While on the business front, after the 1980s Iraq war, the IRGC it became heavily involved in Iran's reconstruction. It expanded its economic interests to include a vast network of businesses which are, which rather range from oil and gas projects to construction and even telecommunication. Well, according to media reports, IRGC's business interests are worth billions of dollars.